It brings me so much joy to be able to expose people who look like me to the game of hockey, something that I love so much. Growing up playing hockey, I didn't really have people to look up to that looked like me. And so for me to be at the professional level and provide those opportunities brings me so much joy. You can look over there. Okay. Sarah, we just want to let you know how important your work is and the impact that you really have. I know you probably don't get to hear it very often, but the feedback that we get from the girls and even after our first nursing night has been nothing short of amazing. Being in the Black Girl Hockey Club means a lot to me because it makes me feel like I can relate to other girls. It's amazing seeing someone like me playing on the ice. I can relate to other Black girls just like me. I like how it gives a space for Black girls to play hockey and to feel included and to show like how good we actually are. She was one of the first women to play on the Canada team, so I'm just really proud of her. She knows how to move the puck well, so I try and like do the same thing. And like she always looks up before she passes, so I try and do that. Sarah, I want to thank you very much for the opportunity of uh, having myself and my daughter come to this PWHL game. Having her see somebody like her represent the game and do it so well has been a pleasure. You're such an inspiration. We're just really thankful for everything that you've done for Black Girl Hockey Club. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> that's adorable. It's funny because obviously, like I, I don't consciously think about myself being that like role model all the time. Um, I just want to be able to provide people the opportunity to have something to look up to. And hearing the girls even talk about me playing hockey, that doesn't really register with me very often because when I speak to the young girls at Black Girl Hockey Club, it is about so many other things other than hockey. And I take a lot of pride in that. Growing up, I definitely felt the pressure of being the only girl, the only biracial black girl playing hockey and always the pressure to perform. And I knew that there were certain times that I only had one opportunity to make something count. In those high pressure moments, I've really come to understand that pressure is a privilege and I have 100% earned that pressure. And so I definitely just use that to fuel me and to drive me in those moments. I grew up playing so many other sports and it was so fun to have that kind of release away from the game, but I think that my family was a huge source of light for me that I was able to lean on. They were always like my biggest fans, my biggest supporters, and gave the best advice. And so to be away and having that support system was pretty special. My dad was the hockey guy. He never played hockey, but he's loved the game. And so he's kind of lived vicariously through me a little bit when I first started playing hockey, but we really developed a passion for the game together. He. I know is very proud of me and that's probably one of like my greatest accomplishments, I guess I would say, just having, you know, my, my dad be proud of me and being able to see little girls who look like me and having, you know, their dads there. I know my dad relates to that so much and so um, it definitely brings us both a lot of joy. It's monumental to me to see more black families in hockey arenas because I felt like I was the only one for a very long time. And so my experience with hockey was like pure whiteness. And I just think to reflect like the fabric of our nation, hockey needs to be diverse. And there are so many people who would love to be in our sport, in our game. And I just think that our game should reflect that. Nursing night's uh, really important to me. I think being able to expose young girls to professional women's hockey is so critical and so important. I think just the sport invokes so much joy and seeing young girls, young girls who look like me, getting the opportunity to be exposed to the same game that I love with really less barriers. I think that hockey has come a long way and if I can have a little bit of an impact on breaking down one barrier for one girl who looks like me to play the game, I'm gonna feel like I, I did my job.